and A moving. Let's get restarted in here. <laughs> I will miss your chudly face. I think this project you are taking on is super cool, guy. You're still ugly. My shaft itches a little bit. <sighs> Going west towards Toronto to touch dinks with Gunnarola? That's not a bad idea. Gunnarola, are you going to be around at Touch Danks? Touching Dinks? Touching Danks. I'm sorry, Dinks? You know, touching another man's Dank. You know, man, Touch Danks. Got some beer janga going on, freaking DDR, and just, just that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Grabbing another man's Dank and just. Touching it. Oh, touching danks. Yes, sir. We're gonna have a good old dink touching time. Will you be making videos while there? Only sexy ones. <laughs> yeah, I do plan on making videos while there. How frequently? Uh, that all depends on the internet connection and how much time I have. Bring penicillin and three handguns with ammunition. You'll thank me later. Will I thank you from Bangladesh or from a TSA holding cell with a man's hand inserted in my. <sighs> Are you spending any time in Toronto before you leave? Yes. Your chest is hairy. So are my balls. Can you subscribe to me? Can I? Yes. May I? No. What was your job the last two months? I can't imagine you working. First of all, fuck you. <laughs> I worked in a restaurant in the downtown Portsmouth area. By the way, if you're ever in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, you should visit Colby's Breakfast and Lunch. Oh, so good. You go now. Guys, mail him all the shit you can find. Especially condoms and things with an expiration date. That means there's actually someone out there that thinks I would use a condom that was sent to me through the mail. Have you seen weeds? Are you becoming a Muslim, Jory? I like to think that's how he talks. Uh, Jory, come back. Ooh, you can blame it all on me. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. You go talk to your friends, talk to my friends, talk to me. Toronto. Don't you live in the States? Because the way the earth is shaped. How dare you? How dare you? What will it take to get a postcard from you mailed from Bangladesh? I don't know yet, but when I find out, I will let you know. Possibly as part of like a charity thing. Dude, you're flying out of my city on my birthday. Woo! Woo indeed! Did you pull a silly face for your passport? How many shots did you have to get? Are you getting some of your money exchanged here? Do you have Amex and warn them or any other banking institution about going overseas? Have you traveled overseas before? Has your traveling partner? Do you know, plan on buying a top truck? Might be better than taking your American phone. Are you going to make sure where the embassy is just in case? Do you have a contact over there can maybe give you a heads up on what to bring? How's the weather going to be? Do you have a guidebook on how to not end up in jail? What is the culture like in that area? Can you learn a few key phrases like how to get back to a hostel, where you can get food, how to get a taxi, what happens if you get sick or hurt? What food or drinks do you want to avoid? Don't forget to have fun. Uh, I don't know if I want to go anymore. What kind of vaccinations and medical preparedness activities are you doing to prepare for your trip? Just 1,200 Kegel reps per day and a whole bottle of Atovacuone Provaganil. Together!